Hi, my name is Alexandre, and uh, recently I've been conducting these uh, extrasensory perception uh, experiments, and I wanted to just do a brief demonstration here. Uh, now, back in the 50s, uh, Dr. Ryan and Dr. Zenner conducted these types uh, of experiments at the parapsychology department of Duke University. Uh, where they were using uh, ESP cards, extrasensory perception cards. Now, if you're not familiar with those cards, they are cards that have symbols on them, uh, simple shapes, uh, like a card would have a circle on it, another card would have a cross, uh, wavy lines, a square, that kind of stuff. And um, they would hold these cards up uh, this way so the subject could not see the face of the cards, and they would go through 30, 50 of these cards, and a lot of the subjects that they were working with at the time uh, were able to beat the averages uh, of, of correct hits uh, with some of these cards. Now, I've been using uh, just a, a regular deck of playing cards uh, just because there are more options, there are colors involved. I, I tend to do well with colors. and. Uh, and I want to do this here, uh, just a, a sample. I'm going to take maybe five or six cards. Um, and I'll be using a blindfold because, uh, you know, I know, you know, watching a video, if, if, if you were here sitting in front of me, uh, you know, it might, might be good enough for me to just turn my head. But since it's a video, I wanted to make sure that uh, there was no cheating involved and that, uh, you know, I couldn't see any reflections or anything uh, of the sort. And even if these, these cards were marked, uh, I wouldn't be looking at the back of them and that, that kind of stuff. And that's why I chose to use the uh, blindfold. Now, I've used this blindfold uh, a lot in the past uh, for these types of experiments. It's a little beat up, but as you, as you can see, it's metal. You can't see through it. It's very solid. So um, I'll be using it and I'll be holding these cards up, and I'm going to try to keep them in view the whole time because I don't want you to think that, uh, you know, I put, put them down off camera and then, you know, bring them back, you know, bring another deck up where I happen to know the order. So, also, I'm going to keep my head turned off a little bit uh, so I'm not looking straight at the cards. So, even if I could see something. Uh, so, then I'm just going to shuffle them real quick. Okay, I'm going to fan them out. I hope you can see this. I'll have to check on the video later if you can see it. And I'm just going to randomly pull a card out here. Um, now I'm sensing with this card that it is, uh, it's, I, I sense a lot of colors. And like I said earlier, I, I am pretty good with colors. So I'm sensing a lot of colors. So I, it would be safe to say intuitively that this is a court card. I'm getting a, a, also a, a feeling of power uh, and strength, so uh, I would say it's probably a king, uh, a red king. Um, I'm going to commit to king of diamonds, and I'll look at it in a minute. Um, let me just go ahead now and just randomly take another card. I hope you can see this. Um, now, I'm, I'm getting the opposite feeling on this card here, whereas uh, the other cards seem to have a lot of color. This one doesn't seem to have a lot of color at all. Um, I do get the feeling it's also a red card. Um, uh, you know, I get a real sense that this is almost like the opposite of the previous card. Um, uh, maybe... Uh, a two of hearts. Uh, a two of hearts. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with two of hearts. Okay. Let me go ahead now and just take another one. That's that's the second card. This is gonna be my third card. Um. Oh boy, I'm getting a. This is also a red card. I'm getting the feeling it's a red card and it's a lower number card. Uh, it's not a heart, so I, I would intuitively have to go with diamond on this one. And I would say that this is a th three, four, three of diamonds. Okay, let me 
I'm going to try a couple more cards here. Pull this one out. Um, this is... Uh, I'm not getting anything on this one. Uh, I'm going to skip this one. I really wasn't getting anything on that one. Um, this one's clearly a, another red card. Uh, I would say this is a... Uh, I'm feeling intuitively, I'm feeling sharp edges, so I'd say a diamond. A diamond. Uh, an eight. Uh, eight. I'm seeing a circle. I'd say an eight of, eight of diamonds on this one. So let me go ahead and... Uh, Pull another one out here. Let's make this the last one. This is definitely an opposite color. It's uh, it's also it's a lower number I'm I'm sensing, uh, but this is a black card. There's no question it's a black card. Um, uh, three, four, or five of clubs, 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 clubs is what I'm picking up. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with four. I'm going to go five of clubs on this one, and I'll confirm. All right, let me do one more, just one more. Let's go with this one. Um, uh, also black. Um, this one's a little different, a spade. Uh, higher card, uh, maybe a seven. A seven. Uh, let's see, a spade. It's definitely a, a spade. It's a... Um, 10, yes, uh, 10 came very clearly, so I'd say a 10 of spades on this one. And uh, I'm going to stop here. I don't know how successful I was. Let me take a quick look. <laughs> yeah, no wonder I didn't get that one. Uh, it's a joker. I th I'm pretty sure this is the one I passed on. Um, Ten of spades, four of clubs. I got, I got, uh, I got, got a lot of hits on here. A lot of hits. I think I missed. I'm gonna have to check back on the video to see how many I actually hit and how many I missed. But that's pretty much uh, the experiment. I'm gonna post a couple more of these videos as I continue to do these these tests and these uh, these experiments. Um, but that's it. Um, I appreciate uh, appreciate you watching uh, the video. See you soon.